Hello everyone, welcome to the course on chemistry. In this lecture, I am going to explain about the S block elements, in that especially alkali metals, and we will solve some problems on the S block elements which are important for KCT, NEAT, and JEE mains. As you have already learned about the theory part. So I would like to focus mainly on the questions from this chapter. So let us begin with the first question. Which of the following electronic configurations corresponds to an element with the lowest ionization energy? So here they have given the four different electronic configurations. And now by observing these electronic configurations, you have to determine which element with these electronic configuration has the lowest ionization energy. As you already know, the ionization energy means it is the energy required to remove the electron from the outermost shell. Already nimga ionization energy and thedra gortu. So outermost electron new remove madbe kadra yes energy be kala ionization energy and the health. So this ionization energy increases with the decrease in atomic radius. Atomic radius kadime aito and theledra ionization increase agata because of effective nuclear charge. Effective nuclear charge means the attractive force which is present between nucleus and electron. So, electron matu nucleus nadwe ruanta attractive force kadme agatha. Yavaga atomic radius jasthi aiton thadra. Attraction force will increase when the atomic radius will get decreases. So, therefore, here you have to see four electronic configurations are given. So, in first option, in that is in option A, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3 means two shells are there. In option B, again two shells are there, one, two. So this two represent the number of shell. The maximum number of shell that is present in option B is two. And in option C is also, it is two. And if you observe the option D, the maximum number of shells is three because three S1 is there in the electronic configuration. So if third shell is there, third shell aiti and thedra, avaga atomic radius jasthi agiratta compared to these three. E muru A, B, C option compare maadithaga, option D the electronic configuration dalli, H number of shells irthau, means three shells are there. So thus, as the number of shell increases, atomic radius will also increases and thus, Due to increase in the atomic radius, the ionization energy gets decreases. So thus, among these four, the configuration which has lowest ionization energy will be D. So therefore, option D is the right answer. Okay. So this is how by using electronic configurations, we can say which one is having highest ionization energy and which one is having lowest ionization energy. Then second question, the solution of sodium metal in liquid ammonia is strongly reducing due to the presence of the following in solution. So when sodium metal, okay, solution of sodium metal in liquid ammonia, okay, it is added, then it will act as strong reducing agent. Why it acts as a strong reducing agent? That is due to presence of sodium hydride, sodium amide, sodium atoms or solvated electrons. So here, when sodium metal is present in liquid ammonia solution, then what happens? Here see, the reaction will take place between sodium and ammonia. So here I will take sodium plus x plus y moles of NH3 okay when it will reacts 
it will forms the complex that is sodium NH3 okay X plus so this is said to be ammoniated cation then now ammoniated cation and along with this another complex is formed that can be represented as electron E that is NH3 to the power minus means charge on the complex is minus and this complex is said to be ammoniated electron because an electron is there in this complex and thus we will say ammoniated electron so due to the presence of ammoniated electron this ammoniated electron is formed when the sodium will form solution with liquid ammonia which is an solvent so the interaction will takes place between sodium and nh3 that interaction between the solute and solvent is said to be solvation energy or solvation and during that solvation an electron is present and that electron is said to be ammoniated electron and this electron can also be said to be solvated electron and due to presence of this electron when we pass the light through this electron the electron will absorb the energy goes to the excited state and while returning back it will emits the photon so when we pass the light light pass madidaga electron a energy na absorb maadkondu excited state ge hogutta and while returning back to the ex ground state it will emits the photon and that emitted photon is blue in color and thus the solution is blue in color and also since it consists of electron it will act as strong reducing agent means it can donate electron to the other element and it will reduces the other element bere element ge electron kottu adanna en madutri reduce madutta so thus it will act as strong reducing agent due to the presence of solvated electron okay so thus we can say option d due to presence of solvated electrons in the solution liquid ammonia solution of sodium metal in liquid ammonia will act as strong reducing agent okay then moving to the third question lithium is a strongest reducing agent among alkali metals due to which of the following factors so strongest reducing agent means it has easily lose electrons means it has more tendency to lose electron so when an element is having is more tendency to lose electron then it will act as strong reducing agent ಯಾವಾಗ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಅದು ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಅಲ್ಕಲಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಕಲಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಲೀಥಿಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ವೈಟ್ ಸೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿ ಲೀಥಿಯಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲೀಥಿಯಮ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಸೊ when we move down the group ionization energy decreases so if ionization energy decreases the reducing power will also increases so ionization energy decrease aitu ant helidra that means we can easily remove the electron from the outermost shell means it can easily loses the electrons from the outermost shell so here if we go through that then we say lithium is weak reducing agent potassium is strong reducing agent because it has low ionization energy but in fact 
the lithium is the strongest reducing agent among all because of its small size lithium is having small size and due to that small size its hydration energy is high hydration energy en irutte bahala jaasti irutta hydration energy jaasti aagirutta due to its small size okay so li plus it can easily get surrounded by solvent molecules and the energy which is released when a element is dissolved in an solvent or the interaction between solvent and solute takes place the energy gets releases and that energy is said to be hydration energy yavaga yavde vandu element anna naavu dissolve madidaga solvent alaga alle solvent matta solute nadave interactions form aagta ai interactions aagbekadra ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತ ಅದಕ್ಕ ನಾವು ಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಸ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಹೈ ಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದಿ ಲಿಥಿಯಂ ವಿಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೈ ಅಯನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ but due to its highest hydration energy it will act as strongest reducing agent so don't get confused with this okay so reason is high hydration energy okay option c is the right one let's see the fourth question which of the following is used as a source of oxygen in space capsules submarines and breathing mask so in these things we will use the source of oxygen because there the oxygen is not available freely from air in such cases we have to produce the oxygen and the main source of that oxygen will be lithium oxide sodium oxide potassium oxide and potassium dioxide these are the four main sources and all these upon decomposition they will give the oxygen but which one will be used as a source of oxygen among these four in akralli yadanna oxygen produce madlike use martara here lithium oxide will gives the oxygen sodium oxide will also gives the oxygen but ko2 this potassium dioxide it will gives oxygen along with that it will also removes the carbon dioxide which is present so here we can simply see the reaction when the potassium dioxide it will reacts with carbon dioxide it will form potassium carbonate along with the release of oxygen so whenever it will react with carbon dioxide it will produces oxygen okay so along with the oxygen the carbon dioxide is also removed that is another advantage of using potassium dioxide so thus the source which is used in space capsules submarines and breathing mask is ko2 that is option c is the right one next to fifth question which of the following oxides of potassium is not known the four options olaka yavud potassium oxide present irodilla so here k2o it is normally present and ko3 is also present because o3 will exist and in k2o3 also the o3 will exist but here if you observe k2o4 o4 here the charge on oxygen is minus 2 when it reacts with 2 potassium the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 and it is o4 and o4 
is not possible the formation of o4 is not possible and thus the k2o4 is also not known so this compound will not produced because o4 minus 2 will not exist thus k2o4 will also not exist so therefore option b is the correct one next sixth question nitrogen dioxide cannot be prepared by heating among which one of these four options nitrogen dioxide na ee naaku option nalli yadanna heat maadi now nitrogen dioxide na padkolakke agudilla ant kelara so here when lead nitrate usually one thing remember the nitrates of heavy metals and lithium will decompose on heating to produce nitrogen dioxide usually nimage nitrogen dioxide sigbekagittu ant helidra nitrates anna heat madbeku heat madidaga decompose agutta and those nitrates should be made up of heavy metals means their atomic mass should be high like lead silver copper all these are having heavy masses as compared to potassium thus potassium nitrate will not undergo decomposition on heating to give nitrogen dioxide but in case of lead nitrate silver nitrate copper nitrate these copper silver lead are heavy metals so heavy metal nitrates they will give nitrogen dioxide on heating so thus they asked which one will not give the nitrogen dioxide on heating okay so yavud heat madidaga namage nitrogen dioxide kodudilla ant helu kelara so that's why potassium nitrate will not give nitrogen dioxide on heating and hence option a is the correct one then seventh question the alkali metal that reacts with the nitrogen directly to form nitride is among these four usually sodium potassium and rubidium these will also produce nitride but they require a catalyst but in case of lithium what happens is first you see nitride means n3 minus so n3 minus it is highly charged ion means negative charge density will be more okay negative charge density is very high in case of nitride ion and thus in order to react with the nitride ion we have to consider the cation that is positively charged cation which should have high density only positive charge density should be high so among these four if we observe lithium lithium it will form li plus 1 lithium ion here this size of the lithium is very small means volume is very small thus the positive charge density of lithium plus ion is very high that's why the lithium will immediately react with directly with nitrogen to form lithium nitride that can be represented as 6 moles of lithium atoms will react with nitrogen gas to form 2 moles of lithium nitride okay so this is because of small size of li plus ion okay so option a is the right answer next eighth question which of the following bicarbonates does not exist as solid ee ondu kottanta bicarbonates oraga bicarbonates means hco3 so hco3 minus ig naave en anthe helthivi bicarbonate ion anthe helthu so among these 
which one is not present in solid state yavudu idrolaga solid state rolaga irudilla ant helu kelidar again here if you observe the options the lithium bicarbonate it will not exist as a solid because this lithium bicarbonate is highly unstable because li plus it is having very small size and it is stable only in aqueous solutions so illu yavaga stable agirutri aqueous solutions olaga stable agi ulkondirutta so thus lithium bicarbonate is present always in the form of a solution but not in the form of solid because of its small size so thus the lithium bicarbonate option d it does not exist as solid okay the ninth one which of the following is most stable sodium nitride lithium nitride potassium nitride rubidium nitride as we have already learned lithium nitride it will directly reacts with nitrogen to form lithium nitride because of that it is most stable why it is stable because its lattice energy is very high lattice energy released from the formation of lithium nitride is high enough to make the overall reaction exothermic so ile lattice energy ante helidre enu first nimage adu bartirbeku lattice energy means the amount of heat energy released when the crystal is formed when the lithium nitride crystal form aitu ante helidra eshtu 1 mole 1 mole of lithium nitride molecule form aadaga crystal form aadaga eshtu energy release agutta adakke naavu en ante helthivi lattice energy anta helthu so this energy released is high enough to make the overall reaction exothermic anta helthu so whenever the reaction is exothermic then that reaction is said to be spontaneous yade one the process exothermic itto ant helidra adu usually yenagirutri spontaneous process agirutta spontaneous means it will takes place by itself without any external source yavade ondu external energy irlarde tannashtu taane aa ondu reaction nadithara so avaga na avadakka spontaneous anta helthu so here the energy which is released the lattice energy which is released is more enough okay so that that process will takes place as exothermic process so due to very high amount of heat energy released therefore the lithium nitride will act as the stable compound so therefore option b is the right answer next 10th question which of the following is man made element you know after 100 almost all elements are artificially prepared in laboratory that is man made elements and radon francium radon radium these are uh, naturally occurring elements but lr that is laurentium which is artificially prepared in laboratory and thus it is a man made element therefore option d is the right one 11th one which one of these is most reactive so which is the most reactive element here when we consider sodium and potassium these are first group elements and magnesium is second group and pb are second group elements so their second group elements are less reactive as compared to first group elements and in first group only sodium lies above the potassium and thus the potassium has low ionization energy thus 
it is highly reactive as compared to sodium so thus due to low ionization energy it is highly reactive and therefore potassium is the right answer option b twelfth one alkali metals are generally extracted by these alkali metals are highly electropositive elements so due to highly electropositive nature they are usually prepared by electrolytic method electrolytic method means they will carry out electrolysis process so simply they will take an aqueous solution or the solution in molten state and then they will pass the electric current then the element will decompose to the respective electrodes this is said to be electrolytic method so option d is the right answer 13th one highly pure dilute solution of sodium in liquid ammonia shows blue color exhibits electrical conductivity produces sodium amide produces hydrogen gas so here usually if we take highly pure dilute solution of sodium then it will be bronze colored solution or copper colored solution will be obtained so if it is less pure then blue color solution will be obtained and here you know ammoniated electron will be produced ammoniated electron is obtained when sodium is dissolved in liquid ammonia due to that ammoniated electron it will increases the conductivity of the solution so thus it will exhibits the electrical conductivity so option b is the right one and option c d produces sodium amide produces hydrogen gas sodium amide and hydrogen gas are produced when we use the catalyst so therefore option b is the right answer it will exhibits electrical conductivity 14th one which of the following alkali metal form complex hydrides the cotton the option dali yavdu complex hydride formation madutte usually lithium okay it will form lithium aluminum hydride so this alkali metal that is lithium alkali metal will form the complex hydride so therefore option a is the right one 15 which of the following has the highest melting point the melting point it will be high when the interaction between the atoms is stronger and here sodium metal is there commonly in all these compounds now we have to see among chlorine fluorine bromine and iodine which one is having smaller size because smaller the size greater will be the attractive force and thus high will be the melting point so among chlorine fluorine bromine and iodine fluorine is the smallest size so due to its small size the strong interactions are present between sodium and fluorine thus it has highest melting point therefore option b is the right answer the 16th question the order of solubility of lithium halides in non polar solvents follows the order so lithium halides how they are get dissolved in the non polar solvents that you have to find here solubility means the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given non polar solvent so here lithium iodide lithium bromide lithium chloride and lithium fluoride are given which are dissolved in a non polar solvents easily that you have to find means first you have to find which one gets easily dissolved which one is having less solubility compared to other halide 
Now, here in non-polar solvents, usually the covalent compounds gets dissolved easily. Non-polar solvents are the covalent compounds easy to dissolve. So here you have to find among these four, which one is having more covalent nature. That will be more soluble in non-polar solvent and having the highest solubility in the non-polar solvents. So again, here you have to take the size of halides. The fluorine is having very small size and iodine is having very larger size. The larger the size, more covalent will be the compound formed. And thus, iodide is having larger size and lithium iodide is more covalent in nature. And lithium fluoride is less covalent in nature or it shows ionic character. So thus, if ionic character is there, then it will be soluble in polar solvents. But if covalent nature is there, then it will easily soluble in non-polar solvents. So lithium iodide is having highest solubility and then after iodine, the larger size will be shown by bromine and thus a lithium bromide is more soluble as compared to lithium chloride and lithium chloride is more soluble as compared to lithium fluoride. So thus in non-polar solvents the order of solubility of lithium halides is given by this. So therefore the option A is the right one. Next 17th question which among the following is most soluble in water? So, the Kottanta Nag option is more soluble than find out more. As you already know, lithium, it has high hydration energy and thus when it is added to the water or the solvent, it will get easily solvated. Means, the lithium ions, they get easily surrounded by water molecules and thus the water molecules get surrounded and thus the high hydration energy is shown by lithium ion and thus among these four the lithium per chloride can be easily soluble in water so thus option c is the right one then 18th question when sodium is treated with sufficient oxygen or air the product obtained is so as you already know when sodium is treated with different amounts of oxygen it will gives different kinds of oxides so thus when it is treated with less amount of oxygen it will form Na2O and when it is treated with more or sufficient amount of oxygen then it will form Na2O2 and when it is treated with excess of air then it will form NaO2 so thus here option B the sodium peroxide will be formed when it is treated with sufficient oxygen or air so therefore option B is the right term 19th one the alkali metal which is a liquid at room temperature is so here the francium option a francium is liquid at room temperature so just remember this then 20th the alkali metal which can emit its outermost electron under the influence of even candle light is as you know the energy which is required to remove the electron from the outermost shell is said to be ionization energy. And among these four, the element which is having 
lowest ionization energy is cesium that means it requires very less amount of heat energy to remove the electron from the outermost shell thus option d is the right answer means even by using candlelight we can remove the electron from the outermost shell in case of cesium next 21st question francium was discovered by this francium it is first discovered by eric so option c is the right one just remember the name of the scientist here eric then 22nd sodium is usually kept under as you all know sodium will react with alcohol as well as ammonia as well as water and thus it is kept in kerosene oil and hence option b is the right answer then 23rd sodium metal cannot be stored under among these options in which it cannot be stored yedru olaga store maadlikke sadhya illa benzene it can be stored because it is not react with directly react with benzene so in kerosene oil also it can be stored and in toluene also it can be stored but in case of alcohol this sodium it will react with alcohol to form sodium ethanoate okay so thus here it will react with the alcohol and thus it cannot be stored under alcohol therefore option c is the right answer 24th the one with the largest size is sodium sodium plus ion potassium potassium ion here as you know na as we move down the group na comes first and after that potassium will comes so thus in na the number of shells will be 3 and in potassium the number of shells will be 4 and thus here na plus ion means if we remove the electron from the outermost shell we will get na plus there after removing the electron only two shells will be present and here in potassium another electron is there and if we remove that electron then k plus will be formed and then the number of shells will be 3 so thus when we compare all these four the potassium is having the four shells and hence its atomic radius is larger and hence its size is also largest among these four so potassium atom is having largest size therefore option c is the right one 25th the increasing order of atomic radius for the elements sodium rubidium potassium and magnesium is so here you have to select the element which is having lowest atomic radius first and then you have to arrange in the increasing order so among sodium rubidium potassium and magnesium which one is having smallest size so here first arrange na k and rb they will lies in first group and down the group the atomic size will go on increases and magnesium is the second group element and it will comes after sodium it will comes after sodium so here the one with having a smaller size will be e nak rolaga smallest size yadar dirat sodium it is having three shells and magnesium is also having three shells and potassium is having four shell and rubidium is having five shells so the largest among these is rubidium and the next after rubidium the next larger one is potassium so rubidium and potassium potassium is lesser than rubidium among sodium and magnesium 
both are having the same size which one is having the smaller size if you see here the sodium it consists of only one proton and here sorry one electron and in magnesium it consists of two electrons and as we move along the pyramid the size of the magnesium will get decreases as you know along the pyramid atomic size will gets decreases so that's why among these two magnesium is having smaller size and sodium is having larger size so the correct order of arrangement is this one magnesium is lesser than sodium is lesser than potassium is lesser than rubidium so remember all these three okay so here the option is not given just to make it correct magnesium first write down this and sodium right after this so here they have given the wrong options so thus this is the correct order and make it certain rearrangement and tick the option c so magnesium comes first sodium will comes second then potassium third rubidium fourth because rubidium is having largest size and magnesium is having smallest size so 25th is this one is the answer magnesium na potassium and rubidium 26 which of the following does not illustrate the anomalous properties of lithium how the anomalous properties torsudila lithium option a the melting point and boiling point of lithium are comparatively high this is one of the anomalous property of lithium option b lithium is much softer than other first group metals so usually lithium is harder than other metals so thus option b will be the correct answer because it does not illustrate the anomalous properties of lithium further option c it will forms lithium nitride that is also correct and option d the ion of lithium and its compounds are more heavily hydrated that is also correct so option b is the only statement which does not illustrate the anomalous property of lithium so option b is the right one 27th which of the following has largest size so again if you see na na plus and na minus among these which one is having the largest size simply see here na second shell third shell na plus only two shells are present because it is removed and na minus means one two three three shells are there one electron is already there if we add another electron then the repulsive force will be created between these two and thus its size slightly increases and therefore na minus option c is the right one okay na minus has largest size then 28 which of the following alkali metal ions has the lowest mobility in aqueous solution so aqueous solution means in water which one is having lowest mobility mobility means the movement is lowest movement of ion is lowest in aqueous solution yavudu aqueous solution alaga h movement anna torusudilla kadimi movement torusutta so already you know li plus it has highest hydration enthalpy and when lithium ion is present in the water the water molecules get surrounded to lithium very easily and thus its size hydrated lithium size will gets increases and thus 
the movement of lithium ion gets restricted due to the large number of water molecules surrounded to lithium and thus its movement becomes slower when compared to other ions due to its high hydration energy so therefore option a is the right answer 29th which of the following has the least ionization potential so ionization potential is least for which of the following means to remove the electron which one will require the lesser amount of energy so helium it is stable so it requires more energy nitrogen in its outermost shell three electrons are there so thus to remove it it becomes very difficult sorry five electrons are there to remove the electron it would require more amount of energy and in zinc also the number of electrons will be two here and it requires more amount of energy and in lithium it has small size and only one electron is there and thus we can remove the electron from the lithium and hence it has least ionization potential among all these four options so option a is the right one 30th question in view of their low ionization energies the alkali metals are since the alkali metals are having low ionization energy they can easily donate the electron and if they easily donate the electron they another element which will react with those metals will gain the electron means the other element will easily undergo reduction and thus they will reduce the other elements and hence they act as strong reducing agents so option b is the correct answer so these are some questions from the s block elements related to alkali metals